The German Shepherd is considered one of the most versatile and adaptable breeds in the world and is a favourite in military work, guide dog work and as a family guardian. Their calm and confident nature is hard to resist, so let's find out what exactly went into developing this glorious dog breed. Welcome back to the Femra German Shepherd Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist. I'm the founder and CEO here at Femra Canine Leaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could ever want to know about the amazing German Shepherd and then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect German Shepherd companions. So if you love the German Shepherd as much as we do here at Femra, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so that you never miss a future German Shepherd video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll find out how the German Shepherd rose to be one of the most popular breeds in the world despite some of the negative connotations they were associated with in the first half of the 20th century. We all recognise the classic German Shepherd with their thick double coat, large erect ears and that black and tan beautiful coat. The German Shepherd is the second most registered breed in the American Kennel Club and the seventh most registered breed in the entire Kennel Club. The breed is right on the edge of being a medium to large breed and known for their protection work with the military and police all around the world. The German Shepherd is considered a modern breed of dog with its origins in 1899. As the name suggests, the German Shepherd is a breed of dog developed in Germany, where the primary role was working as a protection dog for flocks of sheep for the farmers and shepherds. At this time, they were not considered a family companion or guard dog at all, but rather a farmer's working dog. There was a large variety of physical traits between different communities, and in 1850s, there was a large movement started that sought to standardize out the breeds. Hey guys, very quickly, in case you didn't know, we have our perfect puppy program. It's the program that I designed myself as a canine behaviorist to help you guys become a high level canine leader yourself and then how to be able to take your puppy from the second you bring it home all the way through to that dream of the perfect canine companion that you've always wanted. So if you want more information on that, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have now gone through that process to extremely high levels of success. So there's some tests testimonials you can go and check out more information it's all in the description box below but let's get back into the video you were just watching now the official founder of the breed max von stefnitz was an avid pursuit of classical working dogs that were still bred to work in modern times after the industrial revolution at a dog show he found a dog that he believed embodied everything a dog should be he purchased the dog and founded the society for german shepherd dogs he renamed the dog to horrend von Grariff, and this dog was the first placed on the registry for the Society of German Shepherd Dogs. Now being the first on that registry meant that he was also declared the first official German Shepherd. In these early years of the breed the society grew and Horan was bred with other members of the society's German Shepherd Dogs that had equally desirable traits for the breed. Many of the pairings were inbred meaning that Horan bred with litters that he sired and it was a practice deemed necessary at the time to cement the desired breed traits moving forward. Now during this time there was also four wolf pairings that were also deemed necessary and all modern German Shepherd Dogs can trace their genetics back to one of these litters. Now, in the first half of the 20th century, the breed became a favourite of Adolf Hitler's. In 1921, in his years of poverty, he had a German Shepherd named Prinz who escaped her boarding facility and managed to find him. He was, of course, quite impressed with the loyalty and obedience of this dog and quickly fell in love with the breed. It's no surprise the breed was heavily used while he was in power in both the extermination camps and on their military campaigns throughout World War I and II. Now, because of this, the breed was also associated with Imperial and Nazi Germany for a time, but luckily this association faded quickly because of the breed's amazing capabilities. Now, after World War I, the breed was taken around the world where it very quickly gained popularity because of that strength, intelligence, amazing training ability, and obedience. These traits make the German Shepherd an ideal service dog for the handicapped and also a very capable military and police dog for protection and guarding work. Now, for a time, the German Shepherd absolutely dominated all modern working fields like search and rescue, scent work, police, and military protection work. There are a number of noble German Shepherds who also receive medals and awards for their bravery and dedication throughout the breed's years of service in the police and military. 
The breed has even been featured in a number of books, movies, and all manners of different entertainment. There are two German Shepherds who have stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Strongheart and Rin Tin Tin, who were both widely popular film stars in the 1920s. Even Batman had a German Shepherd by his side in many of the 1955 to 1964 comics. His name was Ace the Bat Hound, and I bet there is a uh, similar size. So there you have it, a very quick look back at some of the history of one of the most popular dog breeds in the world. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. And remember, if you're new here, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. We've got two German Shepherd videos coming to this channel every single week. So I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir German Shepherd Show.